Hello everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. This is your Manus Dry Fire Monday and I'm Brian Hill with a Complete Combatant as your guest instructor today. We're gonna to work on mirror side shooting, which means we reverse everything. The support hand becomes the primary hand and the primary hand becomes the support hand. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. There's several reasons for doing this, okay? One, of course, there may be some tactical value for it in the future. You may suffer an injury that doesn't allow you to draw the gun very well. That happened to me. That's how I ended up in appendix instead of strong side. I had to spend about eight weeks in appendix and I recognized the value in it. I didn't change back. Uh, and that was after 30 years, 40 years of strong side carry. It was better in the other position. So maybe we get injured. Uh, there are instructors in the country that require mirror to hand shooting. So you have to switch sides. I think it's a good process. Uh, it teaches you what you do well and what you don't. The reason I want you to do it is for two reasons. Number one is it's novel. And in your dry practice, your live practice, you need novel experiences because that allows you to concentrate. We know if you're going to get the best results that you have to focus, you need to get a f immediate feedback and it needs to be slightly above your skills ratio. You got to have clear goals with it. All right. So this is one that's good for that. Uh, also, you may for the first time in your life feel what a real support hand grip should feel like. The dominant side usually tends to be stronger than the non-dominant side, with maybe the exception of left-handers. They tend to be a little more balanced because life makes sure that they do both tasks with hands. Uh, in right-handed people, the disparity in a deadlift can be as much as 70-30, where they're doing most of the work with the dominant side. We tend to do that. Same thing with pull-ups and push-ups. We tend to favor one side or the other. So this is a good chance for you to feel what a really strong hand gripping your hand should feel like. That creates a new novel experience and it also teaches you what it should be. You need to build your methodology so that it works on both sides. You know, it's really easy when I, when I do my regular grip, but how do I do it on the other side and do I understand what I'm doing there? Does everything work on both sides? You're going to watch the, the dot track up and down and how it moves and that'll tell you how well you're pressing the trigger and how well you're gripping the gun. So we get several things out of this. I think it's an interesting way to do it. Do a couple in dry practice so you can see it first. Okay, so you see what my right hand's doing. It's incredibly disciplined. It's, it's, it's got thousands and thousands of hours, if not tens of thousands of hours of doing this. So my, my uh, finger's in high register, it's slightly bent, so it's not extended. My finger's high and out of the way so the other hand can come and make a grip. But when I change hands, will that be the truth? I don't know. We're gonna have to really pay attention to it. So I got a good high register, but the thumb keeps wanting to lock down on here because this hand's not as confident that it can hold the gun with the bottom three fingers. So my thumb wants to lock down. It's fine for support hand shooting, but I'm gonna put the other hand in that space. So if the thumb's here and I put my hand on top of it, I've left a big hole in my grip. So I've got to remember to leave the thumb up. Now the other hand's gonna come in and my index finger's gonna to touch my middle finger and I'm gonna rotate it in up and bring it up, over and through, okay? so I get a really good grip on it. Now, what's gonna be unique is this may be the first time that you really feel a hand gripping your other hand. So I really get a good squeeze on this. If you look at the muscles in my arm, there's two ways to grip. Some people do this. This is a good way to get tennis elbow. So if you bring your elbows out, see those muscles on top? That's the one that's prone to tennis elbow. When you really grip, it's the muscles down. See how my forearms rolled down and in? That's the muscles I want to grip. I don't want this, I want this. It's a very different action, so I'm really feeling it now. Do a couple dry practices. Uh, if you have, you're either shooting iron sights or a dot, they're going to tell you how well you're doing this. So build the grip here, come out, see the sight. Now I'm a cross dominant eye shooter, so I've put it in front of my head and I turn it just slightly. Prep, 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 prep. Nothing moved. It looked really good. Let's do another one. Build the grip. See the sight. Eyes are lined up. Looking at the target. Prep, prep, prep everything's good, okay? So now I'm going to do it live, okay? Which is important because it's going to confirm what I think I saw as I practiced, okay? 
I'm not going to do all the other manipulations left hand only. That's a critical skills course. You can get somebody else to, to go work on that with you. Uh, it's, it's worthwhile in itself. But this is a different drill. We're trying to get the novelty of building a grip. All right. Okay, eyes and ears are on. You're going to watch me shoot, then I'll turn it towards the target. I had shot previously uh, uh, before this video, so I marked it out so you guys won't see it. I'm going to shoot the number one on the target, the number one, and we'll get four or five rounds depending. I'm going to talk you through it as I do it. Okay, so get in line with the target here. Let's make sure you can see everything. Okay, when I go to switch, I'm going to swipe my thumb out of the way and let the other one come in and grab. Be really disciplined about the trigger finger because it's not as smart. And see what my thumb did? Automatically it wants to lock down because that's how I like to shoot support hand. But I'm going to lift it up here. I'm going to make sure I switch my stance. All right, because I'm back to primary, so I'm back to two-handed shooting here. So I've got my right foot in front now, since I'm a left-handed shooter. I'm going to grip with the base of the hand. See those forearm muscles engaging? I'm going to bring the dot out, all right? I'm going to hold the dot at the top of a two-inch circle, and I'm going to gently prep, 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 prep. All right, it was a very good shot. Recoil was good. Everything came back to the same spot. Let's do it again. Prep, prep, prep. Another good shot. But I did have a little feed to the right because the right hand is overcoming everything else. So what I've got to be careful is not over gripping and pushing in with the left hand to fight it. Okay, and both sides of the trigger, prep, prep, another good shot, prep, prep, prep. All right, everything's in the circle. But as you guys look at the target, you're going to see what happened here a little bit. Okay, like a left handed shooter started moving over to this side just a bit. Okay, so. Something to think about. I was really driving in with the left hand and I'm pulling with the right, so I got to be really careful of that. Everything's within the target. It's fine shooting. And when I go back to my normal side, I'll feel really grateful. It feels so good to have two hands in a normal motion. But this is a great way to create novelty, uh, get yourself to concentrate better, and see if your methodology works. I highly recommend it as part of your dry practice warm up series. Uh, when I'm in my deliberate coaching class, I teach a whole practice progression and I've done a couple videos on here of how I practice to warm up it cost me no more than three to five minutes to do so and that way I'm ready to go I'm connected to the trigger I'm connected to the sights I got a great grip on the gun my stance is all settled away I got a deliberate point of aim which I like to say better than natural I haven't found it to be natural for anybody it is a disciplined point of aim we have to get disciplined about it learn how to line our body up all right there's your drill do it on your manis when you're doing it dry fire watch the tracking chart Compare it to your right hand and see what the differences are. Because the decision of when we're going to shoot is what we're trying to practice, not the sides. And we're feeling the sensation of pressure, okay? Pressure comes from two things, either time, not enough time, or not enough information. And you're going to see a clear idea between the two sides and how much progress you've made, okay? So get on your manis, track it, do both sides. It's a very interesting drill for you. I hope it creates some novelty in it. Make sure you subscribe to Active Self Protection Extra. Hit the like button. A lot of good instructors on here giving you great information. Uh, the price is easy to pay, right? Free. And uh, we get to communicate with you. Leave a comment. Uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you need in the future. You guys have come up with some great ideas for videos, so let's continue to do that. All right, I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. And as always, measure, refine, and perform.